In the serene village of Hoshi, nestled within the embrace of misty mountains and verdant forests, there lived a young monk named Koji. Koji was known for his gentle spirit and unwavering dedication to his Zen practice. Despite his youth, he had shown remarkable promise, mastering complex meditative techniques and embodying the peaceful essence of Zen. The villagers admired him, not only for his wisdom, but for his kindness and willingness to help those in need. Life in Hoshi was usually peaceful, but one fateful day, a terrible storm descended upon the village. Fierce winds and torrential rain battered the small community, leaving behind a trail of destruction. Homes were reduced to rubble, crops were washed away, and the serene atmosphere was replaced by one of despair and hopelessness. Among those deeply affected was Master Ren, the elderly monk who had been Koji's mentor since he was a child. Master Ren, who had always been a pillar of strength and wisdom, now seemed frail and despondent, the weight of the disaster heavy on his shoulders. Koji, troubled by the sight of his once vibrant teacher in such a state, sought guidance from the elder monks of the village. They told him of a legendary Zen master, known as Master Hakuin, who resided atop the highest peak of the surrounding mountains. Master Hakuin was famed for his profound wisdom and ability to offer guidance in times of great adversity. Determined to find a way to help his beloved teacher and the people of Hoshi, Koji decided to embark on a journey to seek Master Hakuin's counsel. The path to the mountain peak was arduous and filled with challenges. Koji had to navigate through dense forests, traverse rocky cliffs, and endure the harsh elements. Each step was a test of his physical endurance and mental fortitude. There were moments when doubt crept into his mind, whispering that the journey was too difficult, that he would never reach his destination. But Koji, fueled by his love for his teacher and his commitment to the villagers, pressed on with unwavering determination. After days of grueling travel, Koji finally reached the summit. The air was thin and the cold was biting, but the sight of Master Hakuin's humble abode filled him with a renewed sense of purpose. He approached the small temple with reverence, his heart pounding in his chest. As he stood before the entrance, the door opened, and there stood Master Hakuin, a serene smile on his face as if he had been expecting Koji's arrival. Welcome, young monk, Master Hakuin greeted him warmly. I sense you have come a long way seeking answers. Koji bowed deeply, his voice trembling with emotion. Master Hakuin, my village has been devastated by a terrible storm. My teacher, Master Ren, and our people are in great despair. I seek your wisdom to help them find resilience and overcome these mental challenges. Master Hakuin listened intently, his eyes reflecting the depth of his understanding. Resilience, he began, is not merely about enduring hardships, but about embracing them as opportunities for growth. Your village has faced a great storm, and so has Master Ren. Yet, within every storm, lies the potential for renewal. He then shared a story from his own past. Many years ago, another village had suffered a similar calamity. The villagers were despondent, much like those in Hoshi. But through unity and perseverance, they rebuilt their homes and their lives, emerging stronger than before. Master Hakuin spoke of the importance of patience, compassion, and inner strength, urging Koji to return with an open heart and a mind ready to see adversity as a teacher. Koji spent several days with Master Hakuin, absorbing his teachings and meditating on the nature of resilience. Each lesson deepened his understanding and fortified his spirit. Finally, with a heart full of wisdom and a mind clear of doubt, Koji prepared to return to his village. As he descended from the mountain, the path seemed less daunting. The obstacles that once appeared insurmountable now felt like opportunities to practice the lessons he had learned. With each step, Koji felt a growing sense of purpose and clarity. He was eager to share the wisdom of Master Hakuin with his teacher and the villagers, to help them find their own strength and resilience. When Koji arrived back in Hoshi, the sight that greeted him was one of heartbreaking desolation. The once vibrant village was now a landscape of ruin, and the faces of the villagers were etched with sorrow and exhaustion. He found Master Ren sitting beneath a cherry tree, its blossoms a poignant reminder of the fleeting nature of life. 
The elderly monk looked up as Koji approached, a glimmer of hope flickering in his weary eyes. Master, Koji said softly, kneeling before his teacher. I have returned with wisdom from Master Hakuin. He taught me that resilience is the quiet strength that arises when we face adversity with courage and compassion. Master Ren nodded slowly, a faint smile touching his lips. Tell me more, Koji. Tell me everything you have learned. And so, Koji began to share the lessons of resilience, recounting the story of the village that had risen from its own ashes, just as Hoshi must now do. He spoke of the importance of unity, patience, and the inner strength that each person held within. As he spoke, the villagers gathered around, their hearts lifting with each word, their minds opening to the possibility of renewal. The journey was far from over, but in that moment, a seed of hope was planted in the hearts of the people of Hoshi. And it was with that hope that they began to see the path to recovery, guided by the wisdom of Zen and the resilience that lay within them all. With the newfound wisdom imparted by Koji, the villagers of Hoshi slowly began the arduous task of rebuilding their lives. The once devastated village echoed with the sounds of hammers and saws, but more importantly, with the renewed spirit of its people. Koji, alongside Master Ren, took a leading role in organizing the reconstruction efforts. Together, they worked to instill a sense of purpose and unity among the villagers, encouraging them to see each challenge as an opportunity for growth. Every morning, Koji would gather the villagers for a brief meditation session beneath the cherry tree. These moments of stillness became a source of collective strength and resilience. They were reminded that, like the cherry blossoms, life was fragile and beautiful, and that their trials were but temporary storms that would eventually give way to new beginnings. One day, as the villagers were hard at work, a young woman named Hana approached Koji. She had lost her home and family in the storm and the weight of her grief had left her feeling paralyzed. Koji, she said softly, her eyes filled with sorrow. How can I find the strength to move forward when everything I loved is gone? Koji took her hand gently and led her to the cherry tree. Hana, he said, resilience is not about forgetting our pain, but about embracing it and finding the courage to continue despite it. The cherry blossoms remind us that life is ever-changing, and with each passing season, we have the chance to bloom anew. He then shared a story Master Hakwin had told him about a farmer who had lost his entire crop to a harsh winter. Instead of succumbing to despair, the farmer saw the barren fields as an opportunity to plant new seeds, ones that were more resilient to the cold. With time and patience, his fields flourished once again, even more bountiful than before. Hana listened intently her heart slowly opening to the possibility of healing. Thank you, Koji, she whispered, a flicker of hope igniting in her eyes. I will try to see my pain as a part of my journey, not the end of it. As the days turned into weeks, the village of Hoshi began to transform. New homes were built, fields were replanted, and the sense of community grew stronger. The villagers supported each other sharing their burdens and celebrating their small victories. Koji's teachings of resilience became the foundation upon which they rebuilt, not just their village, but their lives. Master Ren, too, found his strength returning. The once frail elder was now a source of inspiration, his wisdom guiding the villagers through their darkest hours. He and Koji would often walk through the village, offering words of encouragement and reminding everyone that resilience was a shared journey, one that they walked together. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, Koji and Master Ren sat beneath the cherry tree. The village was peaceful, the air filled with the sounds of laughter and the distant hum of crickets. Koji turned to his teacher, his heart full of gratitude. Master, I have learned so much on this journey. Your teachings, combined with Master Hakwin's wisdom, have shown me that resilience is not just about enduring hardships, but about finding the strength to grow through them. Master Ren smiled, his eyes twinkling with pride. Koji, you have become a beacon of light for our village. Your journey has taught us all that, within every challenge lies the potential for renewal.
you have embodied the true essence of Zen resilience. As they sat in comfortable silence, Koji reflected on the profound transformation he had witnessed. The village of Hoshi, once shattered by the storm, had become a testament to the power of resilience. Each villager's journey was unique, yet they all shared a common thread, the courage to face their pain and the determination to rebuild their lives with compassion and strength. Seasons changed, and they embraced the impermanence of life, understanding that change was the only constant and that every moment held the potential for growth and transformation. One spring, a neighboring village sent a delegation to Hoshi, seeking guidance on how to recover from a devastating fire. The leader of the delegation, a man named Daichi, was struck by the serenity and strength that radiated from the villagers. He approached Koji, seeking wisdom. Koji, Daichi began, our village has suffered greatly, and our people are in despair. We have heard of your resilience and the strength of your community. Can you share your teachings with us? Koji welcomed Daichi and his companions, inviting them to join the morning meditation beneath the cherry tree. After the session, Koji spoke to them about the journey of resilience. He shared the lessons he had learned from Master Hakuin and Master Ren, emphasizing the importance of unity, compassion, and inner strength. Resilience is a journey we all must take, Koji explained. It is about facing our challenges with an open heart and a clear mind, and finding the courage to grow through our pain. We must support one another and find strength in our shared humanity. Daiichi and his delegation returned to their village with renewed hope and a sense of purpose. They began to implement the teachings of Zen resilience, fostering a spirit of unity and compassion among their people. Over time, their village too began to heal and thrive, a living testament to the power of resilience. Back in Hoshi, life continued to flourish. The cherry trees blossomed year after year, their delicate petals a reminder of the beauty and fragility of life. Koji's wisdom and compassion had become an integral part of the village's identity, guiding them through both good times and bad. One day, many years later, as Koji walked through the village, he was approached by a young monk named Hiroshi. Hiroshi had heard stories of Koji's journey and the transformation of Hoshi. He had come to seek Koji's guidance hoping to learn the ways of Zen resilience. Koji, Hiroshi said with a bow, I wish to learn from you. I want to understand how to find strength in the face of adversity and how to help others do the same. Koji smiled warmly, seeing a reflection of his younger self in Hiroshi. Hiroshi, he began, resilience is a lifelong journey. It is about embracing each moment with an open heart and a clear mind and finding the courage to grow through our experiences. I will share with you the teachings that have guided me, and together we will continue to learn and grow. Under Koji's mentorship, Hiroshi began his own journey of resilience. He learned to meditate beneath the cherry tree, to see challenges as opportunities for growth, and to support others with compassion and strength. The cycle of learning and teaching continued, each generation building upon the wisdom of the past. As the years went by, the village of Hoshi became a beacon of hope and resilience for all who heard its story. People from far and wide came to learn from Koji and the villagers, seeking guidance and inspiration for their own journeys. The legacy of Master Ren, Master Hakuin, and Koji lived on, a testament to the enduring power of Zen resilience. And so, the story of Hoshi reminds us all that within every challenge lies the potential for renewal. Through unity, compassion, and inner strength, we can overcome even the most daunting of adversities. Resilience is not just about enduring hardships, but about finding the courage to grow through them, embracing each moment with an open heart and a clear mind. In the end, resilience is a journey we all must take, a journey that teaches us the true essence of Zen to live fully, to love deeply, and to find strength in the face of life's inevitable storms. Please subscribe to Motivated Vids and subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video.